Hi and welcome to the Belfry. This is the par 5 17th on the Brabazon Golf Course. My name is Chris Ryan and in this video we're going to run through a drill which I think can really help you understand what role the body plays when we are going through impact and this is ultimately going to help you deliver the club more efficiently for much improved golf shots. Just before we get started, down in the corner of the screen you should have the details for my social media accounts so if you don't already then please go ahead and follow me on those. So the drill today is all about trying to understand what the body does through impact and the role it has in delivering the golf club. The best golfers in the world have many things that they do similar to each other. How the body moves and pivots through is something which we tend to see quite commonly from the better players. Those of you out there who are really struggling with the strikes, the distance, the direction, all those kind of things will potentially find that through impact you're a little bit flippy with the arms, you're maybe getting a little bit separation in the elbows, you may well get a bit of a chicken wing, you don't feel as if you're using your body well enough and certainly these things can lead to the shots that you might be struggling with. The drill today, however, is hopefully going to get you on the right track to improving these elements. So, here's what I want you to do. Take your normal setup. And you'll notice that at setup I have got a decent amount of flex forward, so I'm tilted over the golf ball, that's absolutely fine. Now what I'd like you to do is, from here, keep the relationship between the club, the arms and the body the same, but just stand up. So as I've stood up, the club has raised up as well. I haven't lifted the club in my hands, but because I've stood up, the club has raised up. Now, if I continue that move and start to extend backwards a little bit, the club will go even higher. So I have managed to raise that club a good six, maybe seven feet off the ground without using my hands and arms, just by starting to stand up and extend. Now, what I'd like you to do from here is move a little bit of weight onto your lead side and rotate towards the target, as you can see. So, I have moved that golf club significantly from where it started, but I haven't used my hands or my arms to do that. That has simply been standing up and extending and rotating towards the target. Now, if I wanted to make a swing and get my golf club to finish in this position, I would not need my hands and arms to do it. I could simply use my body. I've got rotation and I've got extension and that has placed the golf club in that position there. There is no independent hand or arm action. Therefore, what I would like you to do is try and pitch golf balls with a mid iron, maybe 20, 30 yards, trying to finish in this position where I've transported the golf club through by how my body has pivoted and extended. What I do not want you to do is hit shots, and this may well be how you start off, but you may well hit shots where you feel like you use your arms more, so the club has arrived at that position, but I haven't really matched that with a body turn. You might find that your lead arm buckles a little bit more. There are all different types of ways that that club can go through to that position. We would like it to go through by using the body correctly, rotating and extending, and that is what is going to move the club through into that position. Once you have finished your golf shot, what I would like you to do is rotate back and down to see where, where you were. So if I go through correctly, if I rotate back to the ball and down, I'm back to setup. If you do this incorrectly, this way, you'll notice that when I rotate and go down, the club can't arrive back at the ball because I used too much hands and arms through that shot. This is an exercise which is very, very difficult to do for golfers who struggle hitting their iron shots correctly. However, if we get a golfer who really hits their irons very well, they often find this much, much easier to do. So there's a definite relationship between the ability to hit your irons consistently and the ability to execute this drill successfully. I would suggest that this is going to be difficult for you to do. Therefore, more practice will help you do this better. What we would generally find is that golfers often get a little bit disheartened when they can't do a drill that we're trying to get them to do. The idea of a drill is to highlight the areas that you're not good at in your golf swing. Therefore, if the drill is good for you, it is going to be difficult to do. So what we're going to find is that you may well struggle with this. You may well hit the ball all over the place. You may well struggle to find that end position. But the more you practice it, the more you do it, you will start to recognize the importance of what the body does and how that can influence where the club goes. 
Right, let me go ahead and demonstrate for you. As I said, I'm only going to pitch this ball 20 yards. So I'm just going to do a little backswing and then use the body to transport that golf club through. Okay, so a very, very short shot. There's my finish. So if I rotate back towards the ball, tip myself back down, there's my setup. So I managed to pitch that ball 20 to 30 yards through the air simply by how my body pivoted and extended. And that is really what we're trying to do in this drill. If we can execute this drill well, we will find that we'll be much, much better at using the body through impact. And that is only going to help you improve your iron shots. Hope that's helpful to you. Give it a go. Let me know how you got in the comments box. If you did like the video, click the like button down below. That really does help me. And last thing, if you don't already, please subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free. There is a link down below in the description box, which will allow you to do just that. And it'll mean that you get access to the new content that's going up weekly. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.